Okay, this video uh, on the Mentor Course Management System is going to focus on the Gradebook tools. So that's this set of functions and features. Uh, so first we'll start with attendance. Uh, Mentor uh, has a, a nice attendance uh, function. When you create an attendance sheet, Ma Mentor takes the roster down the left side uh, and then uh, you add dates. Uh, and when it, you add a date, it Mentor assumes that each student is present. So it marks each student with a P for present. Uh, but then it's very easy if that student is absent, just click the P and it becomes A for absent. Click it again and they're late and click it again, they're excused and back to P for present. Uh, so you can add dates individually uh, or you can copy the schedule dates. If you've created a class schedule, Mentor will, mentor will just bring in those, those schedule dates. Uh, and then Mentor on the, the assignment, set the attendance grade sheet, uh, we'll do some math for you and calculate uh, the percentage of present, the number of excused, etc. Calculate a grade. You can drop X number of absences, so you can give them three, five absences for free, uh, and uh, then Mentor gives you uh, some idea of how they are doing on attendance, uh, and then you can display uh, those, uh, <clears throat> those that that grade sheet back to the students if that's what you wish to do. Uh, Mentor will handle multiple attendance sheets. So if your your course has, you know, say a lab section and then a you know, standard lecture se session, you may want to track those separately. Um, so a, a nice little little feature for the for attendance. Uh, grids is a uh, a function that allows you to define uh, and create a uh, uh, basically a spreadsheet uh, with grades. So you can see here this is actually just a test case in which I populated this with some paper grades, uh, put in the percentage grades, uh, and then Mentor in this case has done an average of those percentage grades. The error down here simply is an indicator that Mentor can't calculate a value because there's no values down here. Um, so you can use this. I know I have uh, instructors who use this to display points on different activities for students uh, and so forth. You can create multiple grade sheets. Some faculty actually use this as their grade book, essentially. Uh, so it's a spreadsheet function right in the course. Uh, these are not linked into the assignments. Uh, the, the next piece that we're going to look at is how Mentor actually uh, takes assignments and test grades and discussion board grades and actually calculates grades. But this is a way for the user to very simply and easily uh, create a spreadsheet grid. Uh, all you have to do is click there. I'll give the student a B, and I give the next student uh, an A, say, and I click over here, and this will be an 85, and this will be a 94, and so forth. Um, now, Mentor is still unable to calculate a grade because it doesn't have a numeric value here. But you can see it's very simple to uh, set this up. Um, and and use these th this this grid function, and then there's a function that that shows each student just their row of data. So this is a good way to give uh, data back to students, uh, whether it's a set of points on activities or grades or whatever it is that uh, you wish. Student activity logs. Uh, Mentor keeps uh, track of every hit in the system uh, by by the students. And so Mentor is going to uh, display here uh, the actual number of hits, uh, their first login, their last login. If I drill down on the student, Mentor is going to show me the uh, number of hits on each template within Mentor. And you can go further and look at the details and day by day, essentially, in time, see what templates are being hit. And you can either even drill down and actually see the, the form and URL parameters that are sent. Um, this particular report's useful uh, to try to track down uh, any issues students might have with timed tests. They typically take too long. The test times out. They sort of claim that the system didn't do what it was supposed to do, and we can track down exactly when they started, when they loaded the last question, when they attempted to, to submit the answer, and so forth. So. This is good for accountability and so forth, uh, but the, the general stats do give you some uh, idea of the activity of the student in the system. Grading summary takes all of your graded assignments uh, and just displays them here and shows you wh how the weights sum up. So this is a good good test to see are, are your weights, do they indeed sum up to 100%. Uh, 
Um, and uh, so, so that's a handy little check on your mathematics. Mentor will calculate a midterm grade estimate based on the assignments which have grades at the time that you uh, run that and students can check their, their own midterm grade estimates. Final course grades, uh, Mentor will calculate a grade and then you record that grade uh, and then you can gerrymander those grades. So you can see here I rounded this up from 8 8674, which is a B, technically up to 87, which is a B plus. If I want to review a student's grades, uh, I click on the student's name, and Mentor shows me then all of their work and how the grades are calculated. Shows me the final average, shows me the final course grade. In this case, I didn't change the grade at all. Um, so this is a great way, and I can actually just scroll through each student this way. So at the end of the term, it's pretty handy to check each student, make sure that the grades are correct, that you didn't put in a number that was out of range or something, uh, and that your grades are all correct. Finally, report cards. I'm going to just. This is primarily a, a K-12 function. Uh, this is a, a different client that we have. Uh, and they're using the report card. So this is a report card for a, a student. You've got an instructor's course description, the final grade, uh, a set of scales that evaluate the student, um, and comments. Mentor will also uh, allow these report cards to be set up to have the instructor evaluate the student on each learning objective. Uh, in the course. This particular course doesn't have any learning object objectives defined or evaluated so they're not showing up here. These report cards can be defined by the instructor or they can be created by the administrator and pushed in the structure of the report cards pushed into the course and then the, the instructor simply fills out the, uh, the forms that have been defined by the administrator or the, or the, the school principal. Uh, again this is primarily a K-12 to kind of function uh, but I think it's a pretty interesting model for higher ed if we were to give our students a little bit richer feedback than just a final grade at the end of the course. So that's Gradebook Tools. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, please contact us. Uh, you can find more about the course management system on our website. Uh, send us an email if you have questions uh, or give us a call.